I'm here in Italy to track down a mysterious device that can identify electrical faults before they even happen. In previous videos from Italy, it surprised viewers that the power supply to apartments such as we have in a street like this could be as little as three or six kilowatts to power absolutely everything. And we can see that playing out. The electrical distribution system is running alongside the building and is tapped off. That causes a few challenges. So let's dive into one of the apartments and find out more. So here's the electricity meter for the apartment and underneath is a circuit breaker rated at 25 amps, which gives us a power supply of around about six kilowatt rating. If you exceed that, the worst case is uh, this could trip off, which could be a bit of a problem because the apartment is a long way up these stairs. pause for a moment here halfway up there to marvel at the previous generation of wiring which appears to be a little look like twin and earth with a nail put through it things have certainly moved on here so here we are in the apartment itself a long way up those stairs we've got the consumer unit or distribution board proudly on display in the kitchen for a very good reason open this up we can see we've got our incoming RCD and two circuits. We've got one for the lighting, rated at 10 amps, and another one for the power, rated at 16 amps. And everything in this apartment, bar the lights, is on that one circuit breaker. So just look around us in the kitchen here. We've got a fridge, we've got a hot plate, we've got a washing machine, we've got an electric kettle, we've got the ever popular air fryer. We've got air conditioning units. We've even got a water boiler as well. So the big problem here, which unsuspecting tourists soon find out, if you start using combinations of these high current draw appliances together, this trips out, which can be a little bit challenge, but possibly a reflection of how we'll have to live in the future. And we'll, we'll come back to that. Of course, a little bit of inconvenience and resetting a circuit breaker now and again is just one of the prices to pay to live in such a fantastic country. But if you're visiting from overseas, this can come as a bit of a surprise, especially if you're renting an apartment like this one. So well, let's go on site and meet up with Massimo Valentini to find out how he uses this device to identify and solve electrical problems. So Massimo, you've been using the Prycam to monitor this property because you rent it yes, as a actually, holiday property? Yes, we rent this property and uh, 30 other ones. And we decided more than a year ago to start deploying Prycam in uh, all our villas. I'll explain you the reason why. So basically from the, from the app, Prycam Home, we can see all, all the villas that features this. Currently, we are only using in single-face villas, but we plan to, in, to implement also, also in three-face villas. So here, this is Villa Solivetta, where we are now, and the Prycam uh, helped me in different ways. So I'll go through the features and tell why is that feature important for me. For this villa, there are four or uh, five uh, sections. Of course, we can monitor the consumptions daily, in real time. And what is nice is that here we can also see the production of the, of the photovoltaic system because we see the net consumption which is now negative okay so we're exporting power exactly from the we are injecting power into the network then there is the quality of the grid so voltage and uh, uh, and frequency daily real time and weekly and monthly that's very important because all our villas are in remote uh, areas uh, and we are subject to very deep voltage drop sometimes okay. down to 200 volts instead of 230. Wow. So okay. it, sometimes it can be critical, and in in in, in some cases, we it, the program helped us to identify that that was the cause of a other problems and for example problems with air conditioning units or what or uh, coffee machines it was related with voltage drop okay so if it gets to a low volt some of this equipment won't start exactly yes. and then obviously you get a complaint from someone exactly and uh, we had to monitor this and we discover what the problem was and we could talk with utility and see what they could do then uh, that's uh, the security part from my point of view is my favorite honestly because in i can monitor in real time the current to ground that's okay. very important of course the house is protected there is a normally for example in this case there is a differential circuit breaker with 30 amps limit yes 30 milliamps yeah milliamps yep. 30 milliamps but uh, doesn't mean that uh, normally it's zero mm. so there is always uh, some ground uh, current to ground uh, and in this way we can prevent things to happen for example if we know that every time the pool pump turn on or every time the external light turn on ground current will increase in case we get uh, for example the ex external lights uh, line switch off then we can see if that was a problem if it was related with the ground uh, so there is probably some water into a light 
Okay. okay, yes. Or uh, with the pool pump, it helped us to understand that the pool pump needed some maintenance or rewinding even because there was the ground current that was too high compared to the normal value that you get when the pool pump turned on. Okay, so can you set an alert if it goes yes, above a certain limit? Yes, yes. Actually, yes, there is an alert uh, related to the, in this case, to 30 milliamps uh, and we get a notification. The pool pumps are staying uh, all year or part of the year, part of the year in a very wet, very humid environment. They get mm -hmm. rusty very easily. They, the, the leak current over the years start increasing significantly. And uh, having this trend is very important to say, okay, was the pool pump working like this one year ago, two years ago? This is something that will help us to maintain the pool pump in, a, in better shape. Every time there is a, a load that is uh, unsafe, because the current is getting too close, so we still don't get the trip, but it's getting too close, yeah. then we get a notification and we can investigate. And it, the fact that we, we, it's measured in real time means that we can come here, turn everything off, and then as soon as we start on, we, we turn on every single switch, we can see what the impact in terms of ground current. Okay, so you can use it for fault finding. Exactly. Trying so, to isolate the exactly. problem circuit. So it helps us to prevent failures, but also to identify what the problem is. Yeah. And honestly, in high season, that's very important. Be quick and understanding what the problem. Sometimes, uh, without even a technician, we can identify which line is creating the, the problem and then turn it off, keep it off, especially when it comes to outdoor light, light system, which is massive. Is that where you tend to find the outdoor lighting system is the cause of the, the yes. problem? Yes. Obviously, when it rains. And the pro <laughs> exactly. Maybe the problem it only happens when it rains. And uh, in high season, it's rain when it rains, at least here in Puri, it rains for a few hours, but very strongly. So we might have problem for a few hours, and then after three days, the problem disappear. And the, you can see all of this remotely? From the app, yes. Then the ground system. Ground resistance is measured in real time, and we can see the trend daily, weekly, and monthly. And that's interesting to see that the, the ground system is properly working. Actually, if the ground system was disconnected from any, any reasons, like a mouse or any kind, any other problem, we would see this and get a notification. Okay, so that's measuring the resistance of yes, all of the, the Earth's electrodes yes. around the property. Yes. That's something different for us, because in the UK, we're normally the Earth system is provided by the distributor, so we don't normally worry about that so much, but that's a clever function. Fifth function is called brain here. It's an algorithm that helps us to understand how loads are distributed. I mean, how the total consumption is split between, they call it here, standby loads, high loads and other loads. So standby loads are those that are consuming less than, I think, 1, 1 or 1 1.5 kilowatt, mm. which is very important because that's something that we can optimize. Yeah. Because they are working all day long. They are things that we can easily optimize with energy efficiency components. While, for example, a dishwasher will be a high load, but only work for a few hours. Mm. This one will work for all day long. Okay, so it's all those small appliances that just draw exactly. tiny amounts of power. Exactly. But in aggregate, with it all on, it actually adds up to quite a big number. Yes. Yeah. So this is. Then there are other two things that we use for, but uh, I admit that it can be done in different ways. By connecting to the villa, we know if uh, the, the villa is energized because there is no other way. At the moment, we get a notification that the main switch trip, especially in winter, where we don't come here often, we come here every month, something mm -hmm. similar. Getting a notification that the villa is, is uh, de energized is important to know. And we can do it. Uh, when we try to connect, uh, we can see the, the voltage level is zero or alternatively also the Wi-Fi. We can monitor if the Wi-Fi connection is lost for, for a couple of days, it means that the UPS also off and we need to come here and turn it off. Brightcam connects to the Wi-Fi network, yes. but then I thought if it trips, you but, lose the Wi-Fi. No, we still have the UPS. We have okay. the UPS energizing a, a set of things like Wi-Fi and video surveillance and alarm. Yeah. So we still have many other hours of uh, operation of those loads. Yes. So sometimes we might have no le electricity and still Wi-Fi. After a couple of days, we have no electricity, no Wi-Fi. Then it becomes urgent to come and turn everything on. Okay, but you'd still, all of the parameters are stored in the memory of the yes. device. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can see the, the average uh, ground current in this case is ar around 18 milliamps. So we are not that far from 30. But then the operation it can help the house owner without technical knowledge. That's that's important. Yeah, and you can get all this remotely anyway. You can set which notification you want to get. Someone may be more interested in consumption, for instance. Yeah. In our case, really, is mainly related to the safety and prevention of things 
uh, like uh, technical issues like with external lights or pool pump or uh, air conditioning or that may cause problems to the guest. Yeah, the last thing people want to do is come on holiday and start, try resetting switches. So we've got the meter, oh, it looks like a circuit break as well, but then the electrician puts this in and yes. this, this is essentially the rating for the property, 40 amps. If the power goes off in the house, someone has to come down here in the middle of the night and reset that switch. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't really happen because the, the, in case of ground fault, the other one will trip. Yeah. In case of uh, overload, the other one will trip first than this. Oh, okay. Before than this. But the pry cam sits between this yes. switch and the main switch yes. in that configuration. Okay, that's good. It's fascinating to see how Massimo's deployed the pry cam to manage power remotely and identify potential problems before the impact on the guest experience and perhaps this is something we need to be looking for in the future because we get used to it you know we have in the UK our 23 kilowatt supply in America you might have 48 kilowatts and we're probably never having to reset MCBs because we've overloaded the entire power supply for the property however the way we use power is changing as we go for more electrification more heat pumps more EV charging, more solar on the grid. We're all gonna to have to get used to more flexibility and understanding at a granular level how we use power and when we use power. And I think systems like the PryCam could very much be part of that equation. If you want to see another electrical installation in Italy that steps up a level going to three phase, check out the video on screen now. And in that video, we'll also discuss a little bit more about load shedding.